60 is the worst age to be, said the 60-year-old. You always feel like you have to pee, and most of the time, you stand at the toilet and nothing comes out. Ah, that's nothing, said the 70-year-old. When you're 70, you can't even crap anymore. You take laxatives, then you sit on the toilet all day, and nothing comes out. Actually, said the 80-year-old, 80 is the worst age of all. Do you have trouble peeing too? asked the 60-year-old. No, not really. I pee every morning at 6 yo. I pee like a racehorse on a flat rock. No problem at all. Do you have trouble crapping? asked the 70-year-old. No, I crap every morning at 6.30. With great exasperation, the 60-year-old said, Let me get this straight. You pee every morning at 6 and crap every morning at 6.30. So what's so tough about being 80? I don't wake up until 7. An 85-year-old man was requested by his doctor for a sperm count as part of his physical exam. The doctor gave the man a jar and said, Take this jar home and bring back a semen sample tomorrow. The next day, the 85-year-old man reappeared at the doctor's office and gave him the jar, which was as clean and empty as on the previous day. The doctor asked, what happened? And the man explained, well, doc, it's like this. First, I tried with my right hand, but nothing. Then I tried with my left hand, but still nothing. Then I asked my wife for help. She tried with her right hand, then with her left, still nothing. She tried with her mouth, first with the teeth in, then with her teeth out, still nothing. We even called up Arlene, the lady next door, and she tried too, first with both hands, then an armpit, and she even tried squeezing it between her knees, but still nothing. The doctor was shocked. You asked your neighbor? The old man replied, yep, none of us could get the jar open. Airman Jones was assigned to the induction center, where he advised new recruits about their government benefits, especially their GI insurance. It wasn't long before Captain Smith noticed that Airman Jones was having a staggeringly high success rate, selling insurance to nearly 100% of the recruits he advised. Rather than ask about this, the captain stood in the back of the room and listened to Jones's sales pitch. Jones explained the basics of the GI insurance to the new recruits, and then said, If you have GI insurance and go into battle and are killed, the government has to pay $200,000 to your beneficiaries. If you don't have GI insurance and you go into battle and get killed, the government only has to pay a maximum of $6,000. Now, he concluded, which group do you think they are going to send into battle first? A farmer goes out and buys a new young rooster. As soon as he brings him home, the young rooster rushes and screws all 150 of the farmer's hens. The farmer is impressed. At lunchtime, the young rooster again screws all 150 hens. The farmer is not just impressed anymore. He is worried. Next morning, not only is the rooster screwing the hens, but he is screwing the turkeys, ducks, even the cow. Later, farmer looks out into the barnyard and finds the rooster stretched out, limp as a rag. His eyes closed, dead, and vultures circling overhead. The farmer runs out looks down at the young rooster's limp body and says, You deserved it, you horny bastard! And the young rooster opens one eye, points up at the vultures with his wing and says, Shh! They are about to land. Stay tuned for more exciting videos like this. Don't forget to like and subscribe. After a beer festival in London, all the brewery presidents decided to go out for a beer. Corona's president sits down and says, Senor, I would like the world's best beer, a Corona. The bartender takes a bottle from the shelf and gives it to him. Then Budweiser's president says, I'd like the best beer in the world. Give me the king of beers, a Budweiser. The bartender gives him one. Coors's president says, I'd like the best beer in the world. The only one made with Rocky Mountain spring water. Give me a Coors. He gets it. The guy from Guinness sits down and says, Give me a Coke. The other brewery presidents look over at him and ask, Why aren't you drinking a Guinness? And the Guinness president replies, Well, if you guys aren't drinking beer, neither will I. Studies show you get smarter every day if you follow me. The phone rings at FBI headquarters. Hello? I'm calling to report my neighbor, Clifford. He is hiding marijuana inside his firewood. 
Thank you very much for the call, sir. The next day, FBI agents descend on the neighbor's house. They search the shed where the firewood is kept. Using axes, they bust open every piece of wood but find no marijuana. They swear at the neighbors and leave. The phone rings at the neighbor's house. Hey Clifford, did the FBI come? Yep. Did they chop your firewood? Yep. Great, now it's your turn to call. I need my garden plowed. Stay tuned for more exciting videos like this. Don't forget to like and subscribe. A very attractive lady goes up to a bar in a quiet rural pub. She gestures alluringly to the bartender who comes over immediately. When he arrives, she seductively signals that he should bring his face closer to hers. Are you the manager? She asks, softly stroking his face with both hands. Actually, no, the man replies. Can you get him for me? I need to speak to him, she says. Can't, breathes the bartender. He's not here. Is there anything I can do? Yes, there is. I need you to give him a message, she continues, running her forefinger across the bartender's lips and slyly popping a couple of her fingers into his mouth and allowing him to suck them gently. What should I tell him? The bartender manages to say. Tell him, she whispers. There is no toilet paper, hand soap, or paper towels in the ladies' room. A blonde was on vacation in the depths of Louisiana. She wanted a pair of genuine alligator shoes, but didn't want to pay the high prices. After unsuccessfully haggling with of one of the shopkeepers, the blonde said, Maybe I'll just go out and catch my own alligator so I can get a pair of shoes at a reasonable price. Later in the day, the shopkeeper spotted the young woman standing waist-deep in the water, shotgun in hand. She took aim at an alligator, killed it, and hauled it onto the swamp bank. Lying nearby were several more of the dead creatures. The shopkeeper watched in amazement as the blonde flipped the alligator on its back and shouted in frustration, Damn! This one isn't wearing any shoes either! Stay tuned for more exciting videos like this. Don't forget to like and subscribe. An archaeologist in Egypt was taking a walk in the town square one morning. He had to get back to the hotel for a meeting but had forgotten his wristwatch. He was walking by an old man sitting on a low stool by his camel and asked if he knew the time. The old man slowly reached over and pushed the camel's testicles to one side and then released them, letting them swing to a stop. 1027, he said. The archaeologist was stunned as he had never seen someone tell time like that before. He rushed back to the hotel to find his colleagues and then brought them back to the town square to find the old man. Having found him again, the archaeologist said, I will give you this $50 bill if you'll show me how you tell time. The old man pocketed the $50 bill and said, Okay, kneel down here with me and put your head close to mine. Now swing the camel's testicles out of the way. Now can you see the clock on that building over there?